we are now going to install two components of the storage solution for maximum self-consumption and time of use management, the HD wave inverter and the storage interface. There are different interfaces for HD wave inverters and for non-HD wave inverters. Make sure you are using compatible products. When choosing the mounting locations for the components, take into account the clearance areas, as mentioned in the product manuals. The battery should be mounted within 5 meters of the interface. Let's start by mounting the inverter brackets. Hang the inverter on the brackets and secure it with the supplied bolts. Now let's mount the interface bracket. Hang the storage interface on the bracket and secure it with the supplied bolts. Make sure on-off switches are turned off and that the AC to the inverter and interface is disconnected. Remove the inverter and interface covers to access the wiring terminals. Run the inverter's AC cable through the cable gland and the ferrite bead. Connect the wires according to the terminal block label. Proceed with the AC connection of the interface. After the AC side is completed, connect the string of power optimizers and PV modules from the roof to the inverter. Confirm that the safety voltage of each string matches the number of installed power optimizers. Check string polarity and connect to the inverter. Prepare two extension cables with MC4 connectors in order to connect interface and inverter. The DC pair on the interface, labelled with inverter out, connects to one DC input pair on the inverter. In case there are more DC strings than inverter inputs, branch cables or combiner boxes can be used to connect two strings in parallel. We are now going to hook up the internet connection. The easiest way to do this is to run a CAT5 Ethernet cable from the internet router to the inverter. In the next step, connect the communication between the inverter and interface. For this, we need a shielded twisted pair cable. We recommend using a CAT5 cable. When connecting RS485, a twisted pair must be used for B and A between inverter and interface. We recommend using white and blue. For the G terminal, any other wire can be used. We recommend using orange. Push terminals are used for the RS-485 connection on the interface. The last step is inserting the fuses. Choose the correct fuse for your system according to the interface datasheet. Insert them into the fuse holder location until they are locked in place. In the next clip, we cover the installation of the SolarEdge Modbus meter.